Fox News contributor Joe Concha joins us live. Joe, the media went all in on the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. Will they cover mm. this latest development? Wow, Carly, great question. Right before I came on, literally during the commercial break, I looked at CNN.com. I looked at the New York Times homepage, the Washington Post homepage. You can't find one story on this explosive development as far as the Durham report, or at least uh, what, what we're going to see in the Durham report, you know, in, in writing, uh, a guy who has now been investigating this for some time now, and you want to go attack uh, Mr. Durham, go go right ahead as far as his credibility. Uh, that That's not a place you really want to be. I can't find one story about this as far as the Clinton campaign actually now hiring people to access servers uh, of, of Donald Trump, of his campaign, uh, while he's in the White House. Uh, th this is is worse than Watergate. I hate to quote Carl Bernstein, who has said that about a billion times on CNN Air, but it's true. And the fact that there is a media blackout on this tells you exactly where our media is at this point, where you say they went all in on Russia collusion and Trump, Carly. We're talking not for a couple of weeks. We're talking for three years of a presidency. And now that it looks like this could be turned on its head completely, no one wants to touch this story because they know that they are all culpable in pushing this narrative uh, that basically uh, drowned the country for, for, for three years and, and a presidency, quite frankly, for three years. Uh, and it's just incredible. Not incredible. It's not surprising. but. It, the fact that no one's even touching this story yeah. at these major news organizations tells you everything we're, where we are right now as far as trust in our media, which is, I, I don't use hyperbole very often, really is corrupt at this point. I mean, at this point, they are an arm of the DNC. You can't say it any other way. Speaking of initials, MSNBC, yeah. a host there suggesting expanding the Supreme Court as part of fighting COVID, here's the quote, keep mask mandates, especially in schools, keep vaccine mandates where possible, bring in a damn vaccine mandate for domestic air travel via executive order, send out more free high quality masks and rapid tests on a monthly basis, tie opening up to booster uptake, expand the Supreme Court. Joe, aside from this guy wildly misreading the room when it comes to the <laughs> dramatic downswing we are in, like no one in wants COVID, that. like basically <laughs> COVID is kind of like on third base right now. What the heck? to the number of justices have to do with COVID? <laughs> uh, that, that's a great question, right? Boy, it's amazing what you could fit in 200, 280 characters these days on the Twitter. Uh, yeah, expand uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, uh, absolutely uh, no sane American wants to do that at this point. I'm sure uh, that this MSNBC host wants to also expand uh, the Senate, right? So we want to add Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. as states, and this way Democrats uh, can have uh, a greater majority. Uh, look, cases in the United States, as far as COVID, are down 70% at this point. Hospitalizations, everything is dropping. Omicron basically has defeated the virus for us, more or less, hopefully, you know, unless some other variant comes along. And there will be variants in the future. But right now, as you said, third base, exactly right. Uh, and that's why Democratic governors in, in Massachusetts, in New Jersey, in Delaware, in Oregon, in Delaware, uh, they're all now dropping these mask mandates for right. schools. But if Mendy Hassan does his show indoors without a mask, if he truly believes what he says, if this isn't virtue signaling, he should do his program with a mask on the entire time. If he <laughs> believes he my kids should be masked Special for seven, TV. eight hours exactly. per day, Special right? TV. Practice what you preach, my friend. Bingo. Democrats have a problem with that, though. Uh, Joe, thank you. Thanks.